Army Staff Sergeant Jesse Thomas served in the Army for seven years. He died June 10th in Afghanistan. We all are proud. Everybody's proud. Very proud. But family and friends aren't the only ones honoring Staff Sergeant Thomas's service. Hundreds of people crowded around East Hill Church of God in Christ, doused in red, white, and blue. Our uh, community loves their service members and appreciate the service that they do and the sacrifices they make for us. Part of this showing of support stems from rumors a group known for protesting military funerals had plans to disrupt Thomas's funeral services. Baby Facebook works magic. <laughs> yes, it does. I believe that God is love and I don't believe that Westboro stands for that. Armed with signs, police and the Patriot Guard, the funeral went on without incident. This is great. We need to do this every time we have a fallen soldier. It's a shame we have so many. But uh, we, we support them all and we appreciate their, uh, their sacrifice. As the casket was placed in the hearse and the funeral procession neared its final destination at Barrancas National Cemetery, for Staff Sergeant Thomas's family, it was a sense of closure. It's just incredible, the, the love and the support that Pensacola is showing. It's a strong military community. And for the community, many were proud to know a man who gave it his all was finally able to rest in peace. In Pensacola, Cavante Smalls, Channel 3 News.